everyone, Animal Girl here, back with another edition of Movie Talk. And this week's movie is The Nightmare Before Christmas. In a world where Halloween appears to be 24-7 and is the biggest day of the year, Jack Skeleton, the Pumpkin King, grows tired with, the, with performing the same routine year after year. So, when he stumbles upon a gr grove of seven trees that lead to seven different holiday towns and discovers Christmas Town, he decides to share the wonder of the Christmas season with his friends back in Halloween Town, but with a spooky twist. Okay, now before we move on, I'd like to say one thing, and that is some of you are probably wondering why I chose to do The Nightmare Before Christmas now and not last month or next month. And that is because I do not know what to categorize this movie as. It's got elements of both a Halloween movie and a Christmas movie. So as a happy medium, I decided to do it here in November. Um, so those of you who consider it to be a Halloween movie still have it fairly relatively close to when Halloween to Halloween, and those of you who consider it a Christmas movie still have it relatively close to December. Um, so this is kind of a happy medium for everyone. Okay, highlights of the movie. This movie was made back in 1993 and is an American stop-motion animated musical dark fantasy film. And this movie basically tells the story of Jack Skellington, the king of Halloween Town, who stumbles on or stumbles through a portal to Christmas Town and decides to celebrate the holiday. Um, stop-motion, um, for those of you who are unaware, is um, fairly early 3D animation. Um, they used it a lot in B-movies. Um, and, uh, it's fairly similar to traditional animation, except it's 3D and you're using little clay puppets. Um, but same thing, it's, you make a micro change to, and take a picture, make a micro change, take a picture, make a micro change, take a picture. And when you put all those pictures together, the character looks like it's moving. Um much like with traditional animation where you seem to draw the same picture over and over again, but there might be um, something slightly different about each one that you just can't pick up with the naked eye, but when you put it together, it's moving. Okay, things I liked about this movie. First off, I liked the story. Uh, as I stated um, before, I have trouble categorizing this as... E um, as either a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie, because it does have elements of both. You get a nice mix of the two most popular holidays um, starting in October and going up through January. Um, Christmas and ha Halloween are probably the two most popular holidays celebrated at this time of the year. Um, we do have two other holidays that are kind of sandwiched in between them, Veterans Day and Thanksgiving, but they do tend to get overlooked a little bit. Uh, I have to look on a calendar to see when Veterans Day is. Um, I know it's roughly the same day every year, but I still have to look on a calendar to see when it is. And I always mix it up with Memorial Day. Um, I mean, I know both are for the sol are for soldiers. I just I always mix up which ones when. Um, and Thanksgiving, I'm. No, it's always the second or the fourth Thursday of November or the last, no, the fourth Thursday of November. Um, at least that's how it is this year. Um, but again, it gets lost in the shuffle. We get our harvest stuff. Um, the Thanksgiving stuff is on sale around the same time the Halloween stuff is, but it's a very small, at least where I work, it's a very small section of the seasonal area that has the Thanksgiving stuff in it. And then once Halloween's over, we jump right into the Christmas stuff. Um, so it really doesn't get... So we really do see that this is 
But those are the two big holidays at this point in time, is thanks is um, Halloween and Christmas. And this movie has elements of both. Um, so I did like that. I did like the stop motion animation a lot as well. Um, I don't watch a lot of movies that have stop motion animation, um, but the ones I do, I absolutely love. Um, and I liked the characters in the Halloween Town. Um, that's the one we spend the majority of our time is in is Halloween Town. Um, hence why I'm doing this video uh, a little closer to October than December. Um, and I do like I do like that. Um, what I liked about it is that you had your traditional characters, your vampires, your witches, your ghosts, your monsters, your werewolves, but you the animators were kind of free to do what they wanted with them to a degree and come up with other characters that kind of worked in Halloween Town, um, which I really liked as well. Um, secondly, I liked the different holiday towns. Now, we really only see two. We see Halloween Town, which, again, is where we spent the majority of the movie, and we see Christmas Town. But we get the hint that the other towns are visited because we have the three little trick-or-treaters who were charged with getting Santa um, having gone to the Easter town first um, as they come back with the Easter bunny. Um, so we do know it's that um, the other towns are accessible. It's just the two that have to deal with the movie, Christmas Town and um, Halloween Town that we spend any given time in, and mostly Halloween Town. And I'm just gonna say this: I love Christmas Town. I love the way they brought Christmas Town to life in um, this movie. Uh, everybody has their own take on what Santa's Village looks like, and I really liked the take on this one. I thought it was just so cute, um, and just the way Santa's Village should look, in my opinion. Lastly, I loved the ending. Um, this is a family movie, despite the fact that it's a dark fantasy movie. Um, and um, it, I don't think I have to tell you that it ends on a happy note. Um, it's really um, cute and adorable. Um, I think the reason why they said it's, um, why they call it a dark fantasy is because it was, basically created by Tim Burton, and as I mentioned in my Beetlejuice movie, he has a very, um, trying to think of a nice way to say this, a very, um, weird creative mind, but weird in a good way. Um, so, um, I think that's why it comes off a little creepy, particularly, um, Halloween Town. But again, it, that's okay. It's, um, it, it can have that element because it has the Halloween factor in it. So I, I do like that. Um, there are some things about it that I would change. Um, but, um, oh, they're just tiny little things that I had problems with. Nothing really to go into this, mo to go into this, um, about, um, Mostly just um the um the boogeyman oogie boogie uh, I just uh, what happens with him not what happens with him but what's revealed after it happens to him I just didn't like um I didn't like the whole obsession with bug thing that he had um but you know that's just that was really the only thing I really didn't like about it okay cast this movie had well it had a lot of characters in it there were only. six characters that really we saw a lot of, not counting the three little trick-or-treaters that work for Oogie Boogie, or Jack's Dog Zero. Um, and so they're listed there. Notice that Jack had actually two voice actors, one for speaking, one for singing, so I'm just going to kind of let you read down.
Okay, question of the week. As this movie dealt with, um, or in, or, ta or showed other different holidays all in one movie, um, two at least, but hinted at the others, my question for you is, what is your favorite holiday? Do you like Christmas? Do you like Thanksgiving? Do you like Halloween? Do you like Easter? Do you like the 4th of July? Do you like St. Patrick's Day? Do you like Valentine's Day? Uh, do you like Veterans Day? Do you like um, Memorial Day? Do you like uh, World Animal Day? Which, yes, is an actual um, day in um, October. Uh, do you like Hanukkah? Do you like Kwanzaa? I'm, try I'm trying to think of some other holidays here. Um, And that's, that's all I can think of off the top of my head. I, let me know what's your favorite holiday. I mean, one that even that I didn't even mention because um, I just couldn't think of it. Um, let me know in the um, comment section. Also, feel free to leave your comments and questions in the comment section. I do love, love to read those. And please like and share this video. And feel free to follow me on... Or like and share this video if you're watching on Facebook. And like and subscribe if you're watching on... YouTube, and feel free to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Wattpad, and DeviantArt. I do have my name for those five sites right there on the screen, as well as the pictures I use for the icons. Please note, all pictures seen within this video belong to their respected artists. I own absolutely nothing, and for my YouTube subscribers, also please note that I will have the links for those five sites in the description section. Okay, quick reminder on my comment rolls. Okay, feel free to check out my other movie talk videos.
my Movie Talk Special Edition videos. in my other videos. Okay, before I sign off, two things I'd like to touch on. Um, this first one is for my YouTube subscribers, and that is that there will be a dual posting for TV Talk. It will be posted both to my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. If you'd like to check out any of the backlogged videos of TV Talk that do not appear on YouTube, you can feel free to check them out on my Facebook page. Again, the link will be in the description section. And just so you can have um you don't have any trouble um with looking them up here is a list of all the TV shows I've either done TV talk videos on or I'm currently doing TV talk videos on Okay, thank you for watching, and have a very nice day.